What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody. My name is Trevor Selescu. And I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Today, we will be looking at the AMT Earl 1972 Chevrolet Chevelle SS454. This little model kit is a great filler car for your collection if you're into Chevelles. You can see all of our available model kits at www.monster-hobbies.ca. I will leave a link in the description below. Now let's go down to our bench and see what's in the box. And now we wind the clock all the way back to 1972 as we go down to our Chevy showroom and see this amazing 72 Chevy Chevelle SS. Now this was becoming the last years of muscle cars. In fact, 72 was pretty much GM's last year of building muscle cars before the big body changes and everything else. As you can see, there's a few pictures of the interior engine and side profile of the car, as well as the three quarters that we saw in the front of the box. Side of the box mirrors that. This is a skill level two kit for ages 10 and up, requires glue and a paintbrush. And it came out in 2003 from RC2 Brands. Get the low down as we rip the lid off this box. So again, we got these 70s style instruction sheets for our 72 Chevy Chevelle SS 454. There we got our glass there. You, you know this is a 70s kit when you got the runners going in on the windows. Here's our undercarriage. Our body with the nice little cardboard stuck in here so the roof doesn't get collapsed. There we've got our interior tub and our seats and roll pan. And look at the little differential. <laughs> so narrow. And the wheel backs are massive. <laughs> anyway, there's uh, some custom bits. Engine, a big 454 there. We also have this air cleaner thing here that's uh, custom stuff going on. Lots of air cleaners. Big one, Ram Air Hood style. Uh, intake fuel injection, I guess. And then this little dinky one here. <laughs> there's our groovy hood, uh, groovy groovy. Dashboard. Man, everything is just like little bits in here. Uh, rear seat. There's our chrome. Oh, our decal sheet. Hey, everybody. And there's our our uh, tires. Here's our instruction sheet for a 1972 Chevy Chevelle SS454. Here we are with our engine assembly. And can you dig this? There's actually three engines you can build out of this thing. All right, we have our engine block going together for this 454. Left and right hand side block with transmission off the back. Separate oil pan, which is always nice. And right and left hand side cylinder heads. There's our starter motor mounting over on this side. And then we have our valve covers. Okay, anyway, there's our exhaust manifolds, our intake manifold, and our air cleaner. Of course, our distributor and the heater hose. Okay, so here's our optional engine. This would be a big drag racing machine thing because we have a blower top and bottom and then the three sides here. Actually, that's an air scoop, pardon me. There's our blower with the three things as well as our special manifold and then finned valve covers and these big noodle exhaust headers as well as the more advanced distributor going on here. And then like we saw on the parts tree, there was also that induction fuel injection type top. Now in this, we have our stock motor. We have the front cover, our alternator, and our belts and our fan. And then over on our drag racing one, of course we have the big belts and pulleys for our blower the front chromed cover for our engine and then this little guy went in there so pretty cool you get all these different options in this next up we have our wheels going on here there's some pretty cool uh, beehive style honeycomb style wheels for our custom which we'll see on our parts tree the chassis on here is simple actually the front suspension is just molded right in there but anyway there's our rear differential going together the exhaust manifolds and then these are, of course, little tailpipe extensions. Quite simple. You got your coil springs going underneath and then shock absorbers. So that makes up our entire undercarriage for this model. And now we've got to attach our wheels. They give you these plastic 
squares, I guess, with holes in them. And then you take this plastic front axle peg and you push it through the back and you try to put a little bit of glue on here so you glue your wheel on. Got to be really careful. If these are metal pins, that would be great. But nine times out of ten, they're plastic. But we'll find out on the parts tree as we go along. Again, it, there's the big watch out exclamation point. <laughs> so you know that's the danger zone. There's our metal axle going through the back end here. Then we've got our radiator support with the radiator included and the battery gluing in place and then it all pops in underneath there. Panel 7 shows our interior going in place. It's basically a stock 72 Chevy interior. You get your seat in the back, your bucket seats with the console molded as one piece, and the two inserts, and then your shifter, steering wheel, and dashboard all going into this interior tub. So here we have our body, the windshield glass popping in place and the mirror going up inside, our assembled interior bucket and then the firewall glues in and that all pops in. And then we glue our rear bumper on, we paint our taillights inside here and put our splash pan underneath. You can put this drag chute in here for your big blower machine. So unfortunately it never gave you a racing interior. There's our hood popping in place, and our front grill, as well as our single headlights. Here we have our nice panels for where our paint would go, <laughs> and then at the front and at the back, and our license plates going in. Our one and only decals, the license plates. Now down below is a little paint chart, but there's only four colors, red, amber, silver, and black. Here we have our 1972 Chevelle SS454 body. And as you can see, there's a giant brace here that we need to remove. There's some little prongs at the front here. That is actually how the car is supposed to go, so don't cut those off, whatever you do. Our vent is covered by our hood in this era, although there's no actual vent detail in here, which it should have the sunken uh, windshield wipers and vents there and there. However, what can you do? Along the side, doesn't look too bad for what it's supposed to be representing. Your door lock handle, your SS script here. It's a little bit of chrome molding along the wheel wells and the bottom. There are some sun visors kind of molded in here on the roof. A little texture there and then it's all slick in the back. Oh, there's a peg there. The interior goes on. The pedals are molded on the floor. They are so tiny you wouldn't even know they were there. There's a nice texture on there, actually. Underneath the little stamp says licensed by GM Corps. That's pretty interesting. And it'll fit all your seats inside. Next up, we have our chassis. There is the AMT Ertl logo stamped right in the gas tank area on the inside. A lot of mold marks underneath here. There's our fender wells with the wires in them. If we flip this over, you can see a bit of flash here on these little hooks. That, of course, is for our metal axle to go through. You need to drill these out because they're flashed over. Nice detail underneath there. Front is a little bit um, non-existent. Big holes for our springs to mount into and our exhaust system. The drive shaft is molded in place, so it would be interesting to try to paint that up. So there's our firewall. There's some good detail on it, considering this is all just uh, one piece. There's our blocks. Yeah, they are central on this one, so uh, that might be for stock. Our little drag chute that sits right where the license plate is. There's a little teeny narrow differential with these uh, traction bars and a little bit of the drive shaft. And then the other part of our differential here with, of course, our exhaust manifolds. Or, sorry, our exhaust pipes and our mufflers going in there. This is where the detail is actually quite good in this kit. It's on these bucket seats. Got your center console there. There's that rear pan. There's our back seat. Again, nice detail in there. And then our hood and exhaust manifolds. Nice uh, instrument cluster on there, as well as the vents for the air conditioning. And our wheel backs. Again, lots of flash mold marks right where you don't need them. So remove those with your hobby blades. The exhaust manifolds. There's our engine block little tiny coil springs. Be careful not to lose those. Radiator with support. Transmission. And then we get our engine bits. I do believe this is actually the most recent addition to this kit. Valve covers. Again, the proper 454 valve covers on here. Intake manifold is quite nice, actually. <laughs> that little air cleaner is 
comical. Stuff for the Ram Air hood. I do believe you want to use this one for the stock. I think this one's from like a six cylinder or something weird. Next up we get our chrome components. My favorite part of any model kit because it just brightens it all up. But by this time in 72 there's not too much chrome going on to cars. The chrome on this is nice. Really nice. It's got the actual bumper bolts molded in here where our brackets would be in behind. This is the year just before impact bumpers and the body style changes for 73. 72 they introduced these kind of uh, Krager style five spoke mags onto the Chevelle. There's our rear bumper. There's our honeycomb wheels. <laughs> yeah, the scoop for our blower, our blower down here. Next up we have our clear components. These are of course in a bag which was nice so they don't get all scratched up and look terrible on your model kit. We have our headlights, our front windshield, rear window, and again typical 70s style. The uh, runners going across here. This is even could be late 60s. Oh, there's a little uh, marker lights down here I missed. Uh, and then these little lights up top and our tail lights. Just two license plates from Utah from 1972. NB8732. And that's it. So unfortunately you don't get the nice black stripes for the hood like this car is supposed to have. The tires here are the really excellent Goodyear Polyglass GTs. These were bias belted tires back in the day, just before the radials really took over. You can see the nice tread detail. These are excellent tires. Actually, they're quite nice. Usually there's a spider web in here, but AMT has removed it, and they did a really good job of removing it perfectly. And there's your metal rear axle. And that completes our review of our 1972 Chevrolet Chevelle SS. 454 model kit. Let us know in the comments down below how you enjoyed it and if you have built this please share it with us on our Facebook page. Well I hope you enjoyed our look at the AMT Ertl 1972 Chevrolet Chevelle SS 454 model car kit. Tune in next week when we open up the lid on another great model kit. And if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, subscribe and share this channel with all your friends and family. Hit that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're the first to see it. And until next time, happy model building! Well, I think that brings another great video to a close. It was real fun making it and I hope you all learned something from it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave those down in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed watching these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Pound the notification button down below so that every time I make a new video, you're the first ones to see it. If you'd like to shop with us at Monster Hobbies, don't forget to check out our web address, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Again, I'll leave it in the description below. If you want to support us on Patreon, visit our Patreon account, like these great people here have done. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. I'll leave the link for that in the description below as well. Again, if you want to share some great stuff with us, do it on our Facebook page. And until next time, everybody, happy model building.